Hello guys, welcome back to Edward RC. So in the previous video, I've shown you how to process flight test PDF plan so that you can generate G code from it, which I'm going to show you in this video. Now the first thing you need to do will be installing an extension which is called Mi Jabiao onto your Inkscape. For the extension, it is included in the zip downloaded from uh, Thingiverse and then it's a must to use this one because uh, whatever version you found out there, there's an error and it's a very common issue. So I have uh, got this fixed and then uh, open your zip file again, look for this Inkscape extension. Then this is your Inkscape folder Then go to your Windows files where you install the Inkscape. In this case is uh, Windows, Program Files and Inkscape. Go to Share, then uh, Extension. And as you can see, I have the folder here. So what you're going to do is drag this folder over here. And then uh, I'm not I already have it, so I'm not going to replace it. And then uh, once you copy it, then you should have a folder here. All right, and these are the files inside. And uh, there were feedback that uh, even after you have done this, the extension didn't show up in the, in the Inkscape uh, extension list. So another thing you can do, you can try is that uh, the files in your extension just now, you highlight all four, copy them, and just paste it here. And most likely it will ask you to replace it, so you just replace it. And then by now you should be able to see the Mi Jabia extension over here. Okay, now let's start. I'm going to show you how to generate G-code from your process PDF plan. So let me briefly explain to you how this works before we go into it. So this extension here is only able to generate one type of Z height uh, per, per generation or per, per result. And then, uh, so 90, the angle server, angle server here, 90 is for full cut. And usually for score cut, I'll be using 60. So you can only do it uh, one at a time. And uh, so what we do is, we're going to save this process PDF plan one more time. One as uh, mini arrow S1 full cut. And then we save another one as uh, score cut. And then, uh, so once you save the full cut, then you'll start removing all these red lines, left with just black lines, and then go to extension, generate the G code, which is only for black lines, and then uh, close it, and then open the full cut SVG again, read, and then this time you're gonna remove all the black lines and only remain the red lines, so that these red lines are for you to generate a score card which you, which is only uh, at a 60 degree and uh, with this both G code generated for full card and score card you're going to combine it as a combined uh, G code files so I'm going to show you how the procedure looks like so first thing you're going to do uh, you're going to save uh, from your ORI you're going to save a uh, full card version okay this is for in case uh, you screw up later you accidentally save it wrongly well, when you have already understand how this works, then you can reduce uh, this step. And next, I'm going to save again as a scorecard. Okay. I'm going to open my full cut version. This is for full cut. Right now I'm going to start removing the red line. So because in the previous video we have uh, grouped them together, I'm going to ungroup it, Control shift g and uh, Control shift g again. Alright, and uh, please focus on, on in your mind is that you're going to remove only the red lines, okay? Because we are going to keep the black lines to do full cut. And uh, ungroup this as well. And while you are doing it, make sure that you didn't move any of this part. You want to make sure that they are the same as the original. I'll remove all the red lines. This lines. This. This. So you have to be very, very sure that you have uh, removed all the red lines that is supposed for a score cut. If you don't, then uh, this red line will become your full cut as well. You really don't want your score card to become a full card. It will be ruined. 
right so you have uh, double confirm and make sure the red line is all gone now highlight okay left click and hold and highlight then click path object to path click extension mijabl mijabl then this one you're going to save it as mini arrow sheet one full cut and uh, make sure this angle is 90 always always make sure that this is the one you have to change and uh, so and then this part it could be different on yours it could be empty you have to key in m3 for solo up and m5 for solo down okay but in actual fact m5 is actually to move the solo up but unfortunately in in, in i believe the extension is uh, in reverse so but this is correct you just have to follow the same thing as for speed wise it's okay to go with 2000 that's i believe that's the max i can go with and then uh, for better quality cut, quality cut will be slower at uh, 1500 mm per minute for both x and y so so angle for full cut is 90 for score cut is 60 delay this means uh, when the when the cutter head goes up the z goes up how long it should wait before it goes down again all right then uh, choose your directory and then this save as uh, sheet one we are doing sheet one and this is for full cut of all the black lines all right then apply just wait a bit for a few seconds now you should see your path shown here drag it to the side and compare if there is anything missing nope they are okay i'm going to control z to remove it All right you have to make sure that the zero is also gone now i'm going to save why because i already clean this as a full cut so i can save now i'm going to close it and i'm going to select score cut this is for score cut and over here now we are going to focus to delete all the black lines okay we focus at that ungroup group delete all the black lines be careful not to move anything when you are deleting it otherwise it won't be properly aligned just oh okay as you can see i accidentally deleted red line so be careful just delete the black line It's actually easier to delete the uh, red line and it depends on which PDF plan some is easier to delete like uh, vegan has all the black lines uh, held on to together oh this is a lot of lines here Alright, now double check whether you have any black lines or not. Okay, it's clear. Now you can actually save this because this is a score cut uh, workspace. workspace. You know, highlight that, select object to path, extension, same setting as just now, but the only thing you need to change is this always remember this so this is 60 and this is score cut click apply close it and uh, drag it to the side to compare you have everything included here's some sometimes it may not show up here because you have possibly uh, forgotten that and click z control z to remove it and uh, there you go you can save again and now i want to show you how to combine the g code uh, of this to make it a complete uh, g code that includes a full cut and also score cut i will close this so head over to whatever whatever folder you save this uh, g code as now i'm going to create a new text file called mini 
arrow s1 combine okay you can change the file format to gcode or remain it as a txt the jbl controller will still be able to recognize it okay then uh, let's separately so i'll take the full card control a to and then control c to copy all the full card uh, codes put it into combine by control v and then enter enter to create a gap so that uh, in case we need to refer it again we can easily find where's the full cut code is where's the scorecard code is now i'm going to select uh, scorecard control a to copy everything make sure you didn't mix any other uh, words into it and, uh, and so control v again to paste it below it and now you can see the different code here so as you can see i got a full cut codes here which is s90 m 3 s 90 and then once it's done you will go back to where it started which is your home and then you go up again to do m3 s60 so this is where it goes out to uh, do a scorecard once it has, once it, it has completed all these full cut codes so control s to save it now you have a g code for your cnc machine and then we can go to GRBL controller, click choose file, open open the combined G code you created just now, and look at it. So this is where you can verify, uh, roughly, roughly verify whether G code is correct or not. As you can see the left main wing shape here, all the other parts, and uh, whether the scorecard lines are properly aligned or not. So I'm going to end the video here. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to fire up the machine to calibrate and finally start cutting. Yes. So congratulations to you as well. And uh, thank you for following up this video all the way until here. I, I really appreciate that. I'm really uh, happy that uh, there's a big response and uh, interest regarding that. And hopefully this will be able to help you to save time and uh, reduce the uh, the fear of uh, crashing a plane again because the next time you crash it you have a machine to uh, cut it for you and uh, while you're cutting while it is cutting while the machine is cutting you can just do your own thing and once it's finished cutting you just start uh, gluing it together start building it together at least that saves you at least half of the time also uh, by now if you are thinking like I mentioned just now, you're thinking it's too tedious, too time consuming to process the PDF plan. Well, as the community grows, uh, as a spirit of uh, sharing, we'll be sharing with each other this uh, process PDF plan and also the G code. Like, uh, like we're really doing now, where, where a member called Ryan, he'll be sharing me uh, G code uh, or the PDF plan of the process PDF plan of the uh, A10 Warthog. That's a seven pages of uh, uh, foam board if i remember correctly <laughs> so i'll just load his g code and uh, start cutting as we have the same uh, bed size and uh, format and then another new member that says uh, the first plan he's going to cut is the vegan i told him i have it so i can just share him the pdf plan and g code and he can just start cutting already so that's uh, that will save a lot of time basically i want this machine to be uh, just load g code and start cutting instead of doing all this so as so so I believe uh, we all will start sharing. So I'll work out on uh, on a centralized uh, location to share all this plan, maybe on uh, Thingiverse or maybe on uh, my own website to be announced till then. So thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe and uh, click on the notification button if you have not done so. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.